Today we are already discussing about the client tools. In the client tools, the repository manager is the first tool. So after repository manager, we have designer, workflow manager and workflow monitor. So these are the four client tools we have in Informatica. So after creation of the repository and integration service, so we have to configure the repository into repository manager. Means we need to configure the repository into client tools. So this is the first tool repository manager. To open this repository manager, go to start or programs informatica power center in this client in client you have repository manager designer workflow manager and monitor so first we are configuring the repository into repository manager okay so after selecting that automatically it will open this window so here we need to configure the repository first so go to repository tab in menu bar click on configure domains so it will show what are the available repositories in administ administration side it will display here so which repository you want just enable that repository check that box automatically it will configure into the client so in the first class we created rep1 so now I am selecting rep1 then click on ok at the top we can select multiple repositories also so now we selected only rep1 click on ok so now it's connected to the repositories double click on this to connect to this repository here enter username and passwords now we are using administrator user ok same password click on ok it's connected right so here we have the folder so when it is a new repository this type of folders will not get so we have to prepare folders here first after connecting to the repository so in real time like this repositories we have two or more repositories so for production in any project we have separate repository for testing and development based on the client requirement they will prepare single or separate repositories ok so if for example for development and testing if they are using the same repository then they will create separate folders for each and every department like for development is separate folders and for testing is separate folders each and every folder contain their own privileges to connect to the particular users and particular groups so we can restrict user privileges and group privileges to connect to the folders and repositories ok so now I am creating a new folder go to folder in menu click on create ok enter any name test I am giving and permissions so if you have other users and other groups you can add that groups and user so you can 
edit the privileges like read write execute permissions put to the particular users and groups okay so now we have only administrator user so using that user we connected to the repository so administrator is the super user that's why read write execute privilege it's automatically enabled okay so after creation of this just click on okay the folder has been successfully created okay two folders we have in this repository so like this we can create multiple folders using folders we are working with designer workflow manager and monitor other client tools so in the folders from designer we are connecting into the particular repository in that particular folders after connecting to the particular folders then we can start the development code importing the sources importing the targets creation of mapping sessions workflows everything okay so here in repository manager the first step is first we need to configure the repositories into the repository manager then connecting to the repository then creating the new folders so these are the basic steps after this we have advanced concepts also here so after creation of mapping sessions and workflows in other tools designer um, workflow manager like that so after creation of the entire code then we are importing and exporting from one department to another means the deployment thing we are doing from one folder to another folder or one repository to another repository using repository manager only so here you have option to import and export objects from one folder to another folder or one repository to another repository okay the code movement we are doing from the repository manager so these are the advanced thing here we are doing okay after creation of designer uh, in designer and workflow after creation of sessions workflows everything you will get here under folders after configuration folder you will get all uh, code code related things mapping folders workflow folders session folders so from there we can import the ex we can import and export the entire code from one department to another department okay so this is the power center repository manager this is the first tool in the client so after this we are going to discussing about the designer thank you